Hello, this is the Clay Golan. Welcome back, Foundry VTT. Um, bit of an unusual video this one, doing something very different I've not done before, and I need your help. So I talked in the previous video about we keep finding places in modules and stuff where there's little bits of treasure. Um, we had it through Stormwreck Isle, we had it with Vandelver and below, and creating items on the fly, whether it's amethyst and bloodstones and, and all sorts of little bits of treasure that um, we don't want to just keep saying to our party, oh, it's, you know, you find a gem worth 10 gold and that's it. I mean, that's easy to do. Uh, and depending how much automation you want to do, how much you want to use things like loot boxes and, and things like that, you probably want them picking up those items, putting them into their inventory and actually using them to trade. And they've got shiny things in there. So with that, what I wanted to do was create my own compendium of items that um, we can all use. Now, that's the tricky bit, isn't it? That we can all use. <laughs> So I have, just as a test, uh, I have created four items only, Amethyst, Bloodstone, Blue Jasper, and Tiger Eye. Okay, so they're just four different types of stones. Uh, they're worth different amounts, 10 gold for Amethyst, 50 gold for the Bloodstone, 50 for the Blue Jasper, and 10 again for the Tiger Eye. Now, again, you could just use the same stones time and time again, but I thought it would be nice to do it this way instead um, and be able to actually have a compendium of all of these treasures so if I look at my compendium list here I'm in a completely new world by the way that's why there's no scene here uh, I have a CG treasure items and just opening that I've got these items in here to drag and drop now what I want to do is share this compendium with you so this is where I need help so not done this before but I have created my own module I know how scary is that <laughs> That's scary. I don't know. Uh, I've created my own module uh, that I will expand. I just need to make sure it works um, before I go and put in hours and hours of work into something that I can't actually share with you guys. Because if I can't share it with you, then half the point of doing this is kind of lost. So what I would like to do is I'm going to put down in the um, in the comments, I'm going to put a link to the zip file for this. I've just come off of that. I shouldn't have done. Um, so I've already got the zip file here, cgtreasureitems.zip. All you're going to need to do is find your foundry folder, go into data, and go into modules, and you should have like this, a whole list. I've got, you know, dthreads is in here, um, dd import, etc. They're all in here, and all you need to do is to unzip, so right click and extract, and unzip into this folder. Now one thing to bear in mind, where's mine? When you unzip, you might find that CG treasure items inside there, there's another folder called CG treasure items. Um, sometimes when it unzips, it unzips it into its named folder within the folder. Um, so just bear in mind that you should have modules, CG treasure items, and you should see this little pack here um, of these bits. If you wouldn't mind, somebody, anybody, as many of you as you like, give it a go. See if you can unpack that. What happens is, what should happen, let me go into a new, a different world. Uh, let's pick, let's, let's put uh, Curse of Strahd. If we go into our new game world, once we've dropped that into the correct folder, you should be able to go to your manage modules and you should see it appear. CG treasure items should appear as a module that you can select. Once that's selected, you should be able to see in your compendiums tab a CG treasure items and all of the items in there that I've set for you. And of course, what you can do is you can drag those over into your into your own item table or you can just chuck them I mean obviously I've got I'm dropping items here um, or you can drop them directly onto your play scene so I'd really appreciate if one two five of you whatever would give that a go see if it works if it does this opens up a lot of different things that I can do to help support your games by expanding that so you've got a treasure table um, it means that we potentially can do things like put together random treasure tables and things like that rollable tables and I can package them and share with you guys so that you can just in 
import and go. Uh, random treasure tables, etc. with all the stuff, details, pretty little items and things like that. Um, if you also, uh, and leave in the comments, let me know if you've done it um, and if it worked, because that's the most important thing. Did Have I managed to do this correctly? Because you know I'm an imbecile. <laughs> <laughs> complete muppets uh, playing with this stuff um let me know if it worked also let me know if you think this would be useful because if i get a whole bunch of comments people saying yeah it worked but i would never use it then i'm going to stop wasting my time if it's not going to be useful for you um but also um if you've got specific thing i'm going to go through and do loads of gemstones so i already created sorry segued again of course i already created some gemstones i'm going to do a whole bunch of jewelry things like gold hoop earrings and gold you know necklaces and, and pearl earrings and things like that a whole bunch of stuff uh, i'm just going to create just so you've got it on the fly and you can really give a bit of variety in your treasure but if there's specific things that you want from a, a treasure point of view i'm not going to start creating lots of magic items at this point because they're either already there or they're going to be very unique to what you're doing um, but it does mean i can compile compendiums and stuff um, that would be useful so let me know let me know what you want if you're going to use it at all if you're not going to use it please let me know that as well gabbling now <laughs> thank you very much. watching i know just a little short one but i'd uh, really appreciate it if you'd help me out cheers guys take care